Welcome to this briefing on WHO core components of infection prevention and control programs. What is infection prevention and control IPC? IPC is a scientific approach with practical solutions designed to prevent harm caused by infections to patients and healthcare workers. It is grounded in the principles of infectious disease, epidemiology, social science, and health system strengthening, and it is rooted in patient safety and health service quality. Why IPC is so important for patient outcomes? Studies prove that effective IPC programs and practices reduce healthcare-associated infections up to 50%, and this is in relation to central line-associated bloodstream infections, surgical site infections, and bacteremia in particular. Why is it important to use the core components to establish IPC programs? The WHO IPC core component guidelines provide evidence-based recommendations on essential elements that should be in place at the national and facility level to prevent HAIs and to combat antimicrobial resistance. Furthermore, those core components practically offer guidance that can be adapted to the local context while taking into account the availability of resources and public health needs. This is a summary of the core components for both national and facility level. Availability of an IPC program with trained staff, availability of IPC guidelines and standard operating procedures, education and training, surveillance, multimodal IPC strategies, IPC monitoring, auditing and feedback. And for the last two components, those are related to facility level and include workload and staffing in addition to built environment and equipment for IPC. How to implement the IPC core components? Those core components are a roadmap to indicate how IPC can effectively prevent harm due to healthcare-associated infections and antimicrobial resistance. This implementation, including effective leadership, is the key to translate these guidelines into practices. However, it is not always easy and takes time. The implementation should follow multimodal, multidisciplinary strategies and there should be monitoring approaches that are patient-centered and integrated within clinical procedures. In addition, it should be innovative and locally adapted, as well as tailored to specific cultures and resource level. Should we have IPC minimum requirements in place? IPC standards should be in place at the national and facility level based on the core components for IPC programs to provide minimum protection and safety to patients, healthcare workers, and visitors. The existence of these minimum requirements constitutes the initial starting point for building additional critical elements of the IPC core components according to a stepwise approach based on assessment of the local situation. Who should implement the WHO core components? These guidelines are intended to support IPC involvement at the national and facility level, both in public and private sectors. The main target audience at the national, subnational, and facility level include IPC and AMR focal points, policymakers, senior managers, and other professionals, as well as IPC teams and committees. You should note that all healthcare workers should be aware of the IPC minimum requirements. What are the main challenges to implement IPC in low- and middle-income countries? HAIs and IPC are not on the top rank of the national health agendas. There is a gap between policies and actual implementation, there is lack of reliable data on HAIs, there is limited access to qualified and trained IPC professionals, as well as limited human resources and inadequate budgets for IPC, as well as water, sanitation, and hygiene wash infrastructure gaps, plus the challenges in supplies procurement, and finally, adapting and tailoring to the cultural setting and local context and according to the available resources. What are the possible solutions to make improvement with limited resources? We can attain IPC improvement through advocating leadership and policymakers to invest in IPC as resources invested are worth the net gain, irrespective of the context and despite the costs incurred. Also, by focusing on improving no or low-cost practices and stopping any wasteful and unnecessary practices since not all IPC implementation modalities require additional resources in addition to encouraging solutions that can be of low cost and locally produced, example, alcohol-based hand wraps. In addition, supporting collaborations to achieve the delivery and funding of the WHO core components. Thank you.